Hello and welcome back for episode two of the trio. We got Goliath, we got Bronson, and we got Jasperello, and they're ready for action. We also have Corn Dog because he's the absolute, and they are ready to get some shit done. Last episode, um, we kind of started off the series getting these gladiators up to speed, shifting weapons around a lot. We acquired this very nice mace. Um, we got another scimitar. That last nomad fight was very scary. Ended up killing uh, killing off everyone else on our contract, so we uh, lost some resolve and didn't get uh, didn't get uh, any money for the contract. But we did survive, and we made it out with our lives. And that's I think about all we can ask at this point. Um, we uh, didn't get that big sword, which I really wanted the big sword. But let's take a look at Quadim. Let's see what this particular one is. Just accept it, hunt down what terrorizes. It can be kind of scary, but I think we're at the point where we can handle a one star hunt down what terrorizes. All the tracks here. Ooh, eight nachos, that's actually a little spook. Okay, the mallet is a little bit less enticing to me than putting a scimitar on him. This guy maybe could use a spear wall. Do we stick with the mace or do we put a sword on him? Is the odd decisions. Just afraid of eight nachos, truthfully. I wonder if we just start out with these our shields on. Probably would make this fight a little more trivial. All right, what I'm thinking we do... This guy is 28. Melee defense. I think we can start out without the shield on him. Just slap away with the mace. Let's, let's start out like this, actually. We want bear on the right side. This looks okay to me. While this looks weird, in actuality, he gets put here. Because you have to flip it sideways. You'll see what I mean. Um, we'll see how this goes. Put him here, do that. Sit there. We sit here and here, actually. Actually, like that, a little bit better. I'm afraid that they can close the gap here. I forgot that his helmet was kind of messed up. Nice hit on the nacho there. Probably should just kill. They're going to jump on here, but they won't have the opportunity to eat, and I should be able to kill them next turn before eating. Alright. Doing his job for part of the time. Okay. Do they act first, though, is really the good question. Slash there. Can't move there, but shield wall at least. Because they're going to try to jump there and eat. Okay, he does eat. I forgot that they acted first. I really should have known that. Good hits. Lots of damage. Move there. Oof. I thought I was still on him. Because I had the shield equipped. So everyone's locked up, so they can't be moving on to eat any longer. This guy's got a crushed finger, broken nose. Nice. He might take some damage here. Oh, he took some damage. Alright, alright, we're alive, we're alive. That's the important part. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. All right. Took a lot of armor damage there. Killed them. Got some stuff to sell or use um, at a taxidermist. I can live with that. How much armor damage do we take? His helmet needed some work already. He took some damage and he got zeroed out, um, but he didn't have much left on that anyway. Partially because we were out of tools. Let's see what tools cost in Quadim at the moment. 249. We will buy those tools. And also these are selling at quite a nice price. We will sell these off. These aren't buying at the greatest price. Probably could still turn a profit, but I think I will wait. What are they buying at? Buying shields for 17 or 18. That's pretty good. Um, they're buying at a nice price, so I will sell off a bunch of stuff. Keep one spear for posterity. I can't remember which one I like more. I think I like this guy more. Keep this mace. I like to keep one mallet for my trash tier runners. Sell those guys off, that off. Do not need this many head wraps. I'll sell them all off, actually. Um, if we're going to bring anybody into the ranks, we, we want them well equipped. We will keep the 50 and the 95. Basically, a 95 105 combo is a good starting point for a new brother. We do have the money to check on a new brother now. Um, I think we want more than 50 tools, though. I'd like to get a little ahead on tools. Fucking corn dog. So proud of you. Uh, just remember to take off all our weapons so we can reappropriate them for different fights. Okay. No other weapons interest me here. Another scimitar, but we do have two. It's very nice picking up the second scimitar. It's a big damage boon for us. Let's see what weapons are available. Hey. Urban Goodman's Gassenhauer. Nice fucking... It's a nice fucking two-handed sword. You better don't have 14,000 coins. For example, that two-handed sword does 85 to 100 damage, and my maul does 40 to 70. So, pretty big difference between those two weapons. Um, my wish list would be for pole hammer, something of the sort, some upgrade from our mall. Um, I've never seen this fencing sword, but it looks fucking cool. Gosh, there's so much cool shit. This battle whip is very interesting to me. Whips are very good. Um, they have an ability to disarm an opponent, and I really like that. High chance that I will buy that whip, but I'm hoping that I can find a brother that a whip is just sitting on top of them. Thieves are good backgrounds. I will roll on this thief. It's cheap enough that I feel okay with it. He rolled pretty minimally. No bonus in his thing. Melee skill rolled mid mid level. Um, 118 initiative, three star, like could give less of a shit about that, truthfully. I guess there's some argument to be made for dodge. Um, but he's going to be probably more of just a back ranks spearman. Boom. I guess 105 for negative 5. I prefer over 110 for negative 7 fatigue. So we'll do that. This guy, I believe, was rolling around with this sword. Let's see if we can remember who had what. I guess we'll just kind of go with who we want to have what. We want this guy to have the mace. We want this guy to have the other scimitar. And the lion can have them all. I think that sounds good to me. Probably want to shield on him pretty much permanently. It's kind of just going to be somebody who can lock people up for a while, do a little bit of damage, take some damage. Um, it's going to be his role pretty much. Airline this. These guys kind of in the back flank. Actually, let's do that for now. All I really want to pay for my brothers. 
Now, can we do the arena with our current armor level? I think we would have to pay to repair these, and then we could. Uh, we do want to pay to repair this helmet as well. Just so we don't have to wait around. 300 to repair, jeez. 158, these are not bad to repair. This is pretty bad to repair. Let's just fucking do it. It's stupid, we're gonna get a lot of money back and I don't wanna just wait here. Just waste a lot of time. Put that back on him. This on him, this on him. Let's see, I should have seen what the fight was first. Two recent retired desert bandits. Oh, they could be good though. Sometimes they're really fucking good. Let's see. They all have swords in their inventories, or they all have shields, rather. Put the collars on. And we'll accept our fate as gladiators. You need a knife. Actually, you probably don't need it for this fight. So we'll keep it off you to save the stam. Does the knife cost any stam? That's a great question. No, it does not. So, you can take it. You can take it. You can take, this. You can take the knife. We'll give the crowd something to cheer for. All right, so they are pretty spooky here. This guy's got a pretty crazy weapon. We wanna make sure that we position in such a way that we can get a hit off before they can get a hit off. I think we move like this. I think we move him here and him here. And we hope that this guy moves in here. Nice, 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 nice. Go for the stun, go for the smack, and the slash. All right, he misses. I think we just want to move in so we can get double hits with him. There's a bit of an oversight considering that means I don't get to hit with my hammer. Go for a stun here. Get the hit, but not the stun. Double miss, it's good. Miss our 82%. Hit our other 82%. Easy peasy, Goliath the bear. Fucking beast. How much do we make there? Bloody spectacle. 600 or whatever that was. Nice little chunk of change for where we're at in the game. Have a little bit of tools and supplies saved up. No other quests here. No weapons we can afford to buy. Um... Although we would like something to do damage from the back ranks. Two-handed weapon would be, um, or a, uh, a reach weapon would be excellent that can hit over two tiles. Not holding my breath there. Um, I think we will sell, or do we flail? 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 We can always flail if we want to flail. It's, it's our party, we can flail if we want to. Do we want to repair any of this? Suppose we would just repair that. You can repair the 50. I guess hold on to the 30 for now. Feels fine to me. Suppose we can put this. If we want to switch to be able to stun. Let's see if we can buy any daggers here. One dagger. Suppose we will put it on. Gentleman Corn Dog, the Absolute. Still not low enough in price for these trade goods to want to buy them. I think we move up toward Unstetten. Try to grab some more contracts up there. Maybe move a little further north. Poke my head into the Timeless Sands. See if there's anything here. I don't want to get ambushed there. Nothing here. Could wait till day and check out what they have there, but I think I'd rather take a look at the Citadel here. Usually they have better recruits where the Citadels are. Not that I can afford any. But yeah, they have cell swords. Militiamen. They have a hedge knight here too. Very good class. 
No way I'm affording that for a while. Check the armor. Heater shield's not a bad, bad buy here. But I just can't afford to drop 400 bucks on gear at the moment. Check our weaponsmith here. Boy, this great sword would be a game changer. Same for the two-handed hammer or the great axe. Let's go to Hermanshof. Look for any uh, contracts. Two one contracts, that's good. Cargo. Valsheim, a little bit to the north. Let's see what this is here. Find the fort somewhere to the region of Venland. I hate the find quest, so I won't do it. Probably will take the one moving north, because we do want to go north. Hey, we can barb. Kind of like the way they look. Bronze and the lion. What a beast. What's buying and selling here? Doing okay on food for sure, because we're just murdering nomads. How many more knives do we need? One more knife? Let's just buy it here. It's 32 bucks. Could buy a pitchfork or something like that, but feel contented with where we're at. Our gear. Okay. Let's do the caravan escort. We just want to move up north. I don't really care if it's here or there or wherever. Hoping this is kind of raider country. Like, I'm hoping to grab some, like, groups of six. Find a kid wearing a rather opulent chain around his neck. It's so heavy, his head is bent forward. Runs the line, pushes the line down, and takes the necklace. Where'd you get this? That's mine. Give it back. Another kid. Comes over flashing a ring so large, just pinching two fingers at once. A group of about 40 or 50 youngsters appear from the... He's juggling a stone. Fuck. Do I want to take those things? I do want them. But I don't want to be a bad guy. Fuck, are these permanent injuries or just temporary? Those are huge injuries to our fucking main guys. Okay, 50% range skill could give less of a shit. Crush finger could give less of a shit. That was entirely worth it. Fuck you, little kids. Thank you for the ring. Uh, can't get in there. Sometimes when you go past, you can, like, check out the town. I think what I'm doing is going over to Nesselvald and then doing a bit of a circuit that way. Okay, this is another find quest. Just hate those fucking quests. There's a fight here. Let's head over here, see if they have a better contract for us. Gosh, we're trying to reach 2,000 crowns, taking us forever here. Stock pay. Hunt down what terrorizes. Yeah, we'll do that for sure. That is expensive. Holy shit, what are they buying at? I don't have a shield, I can't tell. Not enough. Six nachos. I like our weapons for this, that's fine. There might be some level two nachos too though. Nope, just level one, so it's not even as difficult as we've had before. Go up here, spear wall. Move here. Move here. Move there. We'll keep Goliath on the ground floor, see if we can bait some people in to try to get around him. Usually people will want to try to, usually AI will try to want to go to the high ground there. I'm going to see where they move here. Okay. I didn't re-spear wall, probably ill-advised, but missed the 78%. Giving them high ground here, it's not ideal if I go there. I think I do though. Then I move here. 
and I move here. That doesn't give them too many high ground opportunities. I want them to be engaged before I kill them so that they can't jump on top of each other and eat. Jump up here, slash him. Slap him there. Smack him there. Kill him there. He can jump on there, but he can't eat that turn. He can die there. Oh, but he'll go before me. I always forget this shit. Fucking dumb. I'll move here and hit him. I knew he would miss that. Just kidding, that was a mistake. Alright. Very nice, brothers. Very competent gameplay from our trio. Plus two. Or 5-0. Our Hawaii 5-0. Alright. Pretty straightforward contract right there. No villagers with any level of disappearance. Oh my gosh, can't believe I've already torn through those tools. We're pretty pretty healthy though, and that's a good feeling. So Aldervox is a c citadel, so we can't really get anything there. I think I'm gonna try to cut through here. See if I can find any camps, anything like that. I can check it out, but there's just nothing I want to buy right now. I just need to make some cash. What do we got? Fucking A. Shitty contracts. Missile Vault, I think it was just there. Yep, just there. I think I just keep moving. To another place I can't get a contract. I guess I go back up this way and try to move back through. And then head south. Just super unfortunate. Can't afford to buy anyone right now. Let's see here. Mercenaries. Okay. Alright. Just gonna grab this. It'll at least pay for our travel. Check Aldervox. Okay. Nothing there of terrible import. Avenue Quack. Uh, we can pay 250 to have this, which is plus four resolve. It's not bad. I'll grab that. Which guy is lowest on resolve of my starter brothers? Who's going to be surrounded most? Ideally, this guy. We'll put it on the bear. Worth 250? Dunno. Two breaking thugs, some breaking raiders. That's ideal. Fight him in the open field. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, their mace is nice. Some of the armor is ideal as well. Um, let's see. Got some high ground here. I think ideally I kind of want to be playing around this region, which has one broken tile and some high ground. Okay, we'll move there. I think I just want to kill him. We'll put two-hander up on a pedestal. Gasparello there. Horn dog. There for now. We do want that pole hook. Is that what it's called? Couldn't tell you. All right. All right. I think we sit there. We move here. Might have people come from around, but what I think he's going to do is move up here, which I'm fine with for now. 
I don't really care too much about their gear. Maybe, maybe getting one of these armors or one of these hats would be important, but I think this fight's a little too dangerous with that maul. I mean, I can move and just engage, which gives me a free hit on him. I think I'll get a free hit anyway, and I won't have to give up high ground. We'll play it out. Okay, you bitch. Excuse me. <clears throat> We're gonna spear wall here, just so there's a possibility we'll slap somebody as they try to enter our little death cove. We're just gonna take him out. Sixty-seven percent chance. All right, good hit, good hit. We take high ground here. Oh, can he hit through that tree? I'm really not sure on that. Why is he wavering? Nothing bad has happened, I don't understand. Guess I should have put my thing on him. Alright, nice. Good spear wall there. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get in the thick of it. Put our shield on. And do bear shit. Fuck you, javelin man. Alright. That is good. They're going to try to break his shield there, and I don't like that. Can I get a morale break here? No, but I can get a confidence. I will take that. We'll sit and wait. I'd like to move down, but I don't want to yet. Shield wall seems appropriate. Yeah, I'm glad I waited. A shield wall here as well. This guy's gonna attack there. Yep. Okay. He's gonna. They're gonna try to break his shield. Good hit. Should hit really fucking hard here. There we go. Almost dead. Do I want the armor enough to take the damage from this? Two-handed axe. Probably. Might as well just switch. Yeah, I'll do the same here. Do you want to just kill this guy, though? Should I just try slap slashing here? Yeah. Fuck you. Anyway. It's life, I guess. What the people say. Little morale break here. I can sit there, I don't have to move yet. Stab. I can move in and shield. It's not a bad idea. Because he doesn't have high ground on me. We'll get an additional adjacency bonus against this guy. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Could try to break the shield, but. All right, he's trying to run. That's good. Gonna sit there. That way, if somebody tries to come around this way, they have additional difficulty. Also, so if this raider tries to slash, I have high ground advantage. I will move here so that I can switch to dagger and slash once. We'll see what kind of damage they do here. Okay, they do hit. He's hit a lot with that pole axe, which means I have a very low chance to actually get it. Um, let's go for stuns. No such luck. Horn dog's a little messed up. Let's go here and move in on him. There we go. I might get fucking slapped. Who cares? Boom. Throw that on Bronson. I'm just going to try to really gear farm here. Might take a little extra damage for it, but I think we're okay with that. Okay. 
Rail break, I can't really tell how much. Ow, dude. Fucking face. Oh, still has a sword on. Oops. Sea daisies. There we go. Okay, we got the break. Run him down. Move here. Slash. Hey, good job, corn dog. Took a lot of armor damage there, but we did get the armors. We got the the hook blade, the pole arm. We did get another mallet and a level two sword here. All in all, not a bad haul. Okay. Levels here as well. We will grab the melee defense on the bear. We're gonna grab the HP. I think we grab the fatigue as well. Where I, what was I wanting to do with this guy? I think I want Steel Brow on him for sure. Which means I can switch out helmets for... Maybe one of these 50 negative twos. Sounds good enough. Just opens up a lot of fatigue. Tons of fatigue on him. We'll see if that's a real stupid decision. I saw, I saw a streamer do it once. That gives you an indication of whether or not it's a good idea. All right. The HP roll is really, really, really tempting here. Fatigue is so good, though. We do have... Grab the plus four HP. Sucker for it. Hold on to that perk point. I gotta kind of figure out what I want my build to be. Probably do that between episodes. See if I have some build ideas for these guys here. Grab the fatigue here. I think what we're gonna do is... Ugh, I'd hate, I just hate to commit to hammer spec, not knowing if I'm gonna get another good two-handed hammer anytime soon. We'll wait on these perk points for now. Ah, oh, fucking rough rolls. Um, honestly, I think I just grabbed these. This is somebody who doesn't make it through the night kind of a guy. Honestly, I think I just invert this guy into our runner. He's bad enough. I will start the repairs on his gear. I did lose my shield, which is fucking annoying. That shield has really good durability, um, but it is kind of heavy. I think what we'll do is just throw that in there. Boy, this guy is the fucking, he's got lots, he's got Stam to spare. What do we put on him with Stam to spare? Could flail. It's not a terrible idea, I just don't like the level two flail. I'll probably switch into level two flail. That might be what I do. Check on Nesselvald. I think they had nothing last I checked. Yeah. Tools are expensive. I think we just head our way back. Who is who's consistently breaking? Is it Lion? Or Viper? I can't remember who was breaking. I think it was Viper. It's actually for some reason put this on Viper. She seems to be a bitch. Retinue, which means we can spend some cash to get some advantages. Things we cannot afford. Scavenger would be good. Covers tools and supplies from every armor destroyed by you during battle, which means I think we're gonna we're gonna crush a lot of nomads in our time here. Let's move through Belsheim, see if they have anything to offer us. Find the thing, which I don't want to find. Good roll on a thief, but we are hurting for cash. Very truly hurting for cash. I think I'm going to pop over here real quick. Check this for a contract. 
two level two con can we handle a level two contract? Oh, this is gonna be tough. Um I think we can do it. But I think I need to commit on my perk points if we're going to. I think it means Bear, I already grabbed Steel Brow, Viper. Do I go back to that knife build with the Katal Dagger on Viper, considering it would probably synergize really well with Glorious Quickness? Do I just play for two-handers with him? Do I just grab the Hammer Mastery? I mean, all I get is plus 5% chance to hit and like less stam build up, but I'm only hitting once per turn anyway. Um, are there any things I know I want on him? It's a good question. I know... Let's see. We could go quick hands and then grab the Katal Dagger, and then we can go s hammer into... S yeah, because that would... Let's try this. Viper, we're gonna grab quick hands. We'll equip hammer. We'll put the Katal dagger in. Bronson. Honestly, we can just fucking maul on Bronson too. Why not? Too much maul? No. Not too much maul, right? Just enough maul. I think I want the sh... Dagger over shield? We'll do dagger over shield, but we'll grab shield here. Browns and the lion. We want underdog on you. Probably want it on you too. These are the questions, you know? Really know where to move with him next. I think we'll hold his for now. Kind of decide what we want to do with his build. We are low on tools and supplies. Nighttime is probably to our advantage because we have no range. We'll use our runner effectively. We just don't have any stuns. Is that a problem? One second, I got somebody at the door here. Alright, well that was a late delivery. We'll take it though. Alright, I think actually what I want is this. I would rather have an option where I can have a decent weapon and a shield out on two characters. Does that inform any of my decisions here? I don't believe it does. Rally's tempting. Steel Brow is tempting too because I could do the same thing. It's just grabbing a less heavy helmet. No, I think we just save that. A few thugs, some raiders. No ranged. So they should come out to me in the forest too. We'll wait. Let's see. Nope, they're chilling. It's probably because they have um, drone weapons. Is it a, a one tile choke? Yeah. I guess we can go around the south. 
Nice thing is Pathfinder. What are we most afraid of? These three guys here we're most afraid of. Just see if we can bait out eventually. Yeah, they must definitely have thrown weapons. I'm thinking we just try to get our mauler through. Boy, it's fucking awkward, isn't it? Okay, that opens up a little bit. Didn't mean to pass his turn. Alright. Dude flexing on his, with his shield wall there. We'll chill right there. Just gonna keep using fatigue. Kinda fine with that. Alright. Guess I should have some respect for the thrown weapons. This is the bear, so I don't mind if he's out a little bit further. Getting him really involved is kind of ideal here. Oh, well. Didn't mean to click. Just testing you, bud. Let's see if he keeps spearwalling. He won't be able to soon, so... He'll find just, like, waiting his spearwall out. He's almost fatigued to the point where he can't do it, so... Let's just wait it out. I think he'll just... Okay. Totally fine with this move. This is just huge morale break value for us. We'll let him move in too. I'm just gonna wait. I will move him around. Okay, so he moves in. Looks like we got this guy on the run. Chill. Oh! That must have hurt. Only a crushed finger though, doesn't affect his combat stats very much. I think I just do that. Feel okay, I don't think I have to put a shield on yet with him, but with him I felt I did. We'll move this here so he can't just one hit Slap on corn dog. We'll keep him here just to fucking demolish whoever goes in this middle slot. Keep running him around. Yep, I like our setup. Okay, fine with that. He's gonna move in here, presumably. We'll move we'll wait until we can get adjacency bonus with corn dog. I'm gonna wait on him. I don't want to push myself in that three man. Boom. And just go for stun, or I can just go for hits here. I can just go for hits here. That was good. Okay. It's an okay spot for him. Move in, and then I shatter. Which hits three. Gets one to break completely. That's huge. Should be able to take two hits here. Oh, it's fine. The risk on that. Um, do I go for a stun here? No, let's just hit him again. Why not? If I punt him here, he only gets one attack on that guy. But he also might run. I think I just risk it. There we go. Alright, I think that guy's running. Yeah, I don't want to catch that guy. It doesn't have gear that I'm particularly interested in. Got another sharp spear. Got a rusty male coif, which is decent helm. And then a two-handed mallet which uh, 
We're accumulating quite a few of I suppose. Also 231 in cash, which uh, not mad about that at the moment. Ooh, yes. Fuck you, sedan. Alright, gotta... Sedan. The four-door. Guess we'll grab him Pathfinder so he can does, do, does his jobs, Betsta. Get a more fatic way for doing more of his job better. The initiative is actually good for runner, so. I guess. Health? Fuck if I know. Sure. Alright, Corndog the Absolute. Decent roll. Good stam. This guy's like a heavy, heavy hitter for stam. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with that. Another quick hands, bro. Probably will sit on his point as well. Actually, no, we'll grab Pathfinder. I've been wanting it on him. Let's see what this one is. Sankai, about two two days northwest. I don't think I'm really wanting to head northwest. Yeah, that is nuts. I could could boat back, but it'll be like a thousand bucks to boat back. I just don't think that makes much sense for me right now. Shield selling at 15 or 17. That's a pretty good price. We'll sell off a little bit here. I think I just prefer these. Slightly less durability for more range defense. Like, I'll take that. Sell that off. Won't want it. Sell that off. Really want it. Two Falchions now. Two Mauls. I do have a ranged weapon. I shouldn't have sold those throwing axes. Probably could have used them. 45 helm. We'll sell the 30 vests. The 50 vests. The 40 helm. The 30 hats. Keep the buckler for our runner. So he can actually pump people away if they get on him. Yes. I guess we will sell the signet ring here. Considering they're buying at a good price. Do we want to sell our Falchion? It's better than 35 to 45. I think it's comparable to our Scimitar. We have two of 35 to 45. No, this is better. Yeah, we can sell one of those. Fine with that. Sell the short sword as well. Got better swords. Keep the spears for new recruits. That being said, speaking of new recruits probably afford a nice new recruit. This guy's very expensive for a militiaman, but he is level two, which is nice, gives him a little survivability. We can get Colossus on him immediately. Gives him a chance to breathe through the night. Militia's also a decent background. So goddamn expensive. This guy comes with a spork. Would I use the spork over the other? I don't know if I would. Canute is, comes with a hammer and he's a wild man. I don't need the hammer. If I needed the hammer, then would. It's a pretty cheap wild man. I think I'll uh, try to find recruits elsewhere. Go back through Felsheim just on the off chance that they've got another contract for me. Nope. See if we can get a recruit in here that tickles our fancy. I'd like somebody with range. Ideally, I'd like somebody that can wield a whip, actually. Whip would be really nice. Deserter for 600. Well, I'd like that fucking guy. That sounds nice. Shepherd with a little dongle. Butcher's a good background. We'll roll the butcher. So he's got more health and melee skill. It means he rolled really low on melee skill. 81 fatigue, pretty mediocre butcher, um, all things considered. 
but we will slap some shit on him and call him a real boy. What's a stupid fucking name? We'll call him Crandall, because, I don't know, like, for me, this name, like, elicits, like, death, like, Crandall should die, you know? Very least, we paid very little for Crandall. Goblin Raiders. No fucking thanks. Okay. Um, I think we run him away, because he just died of range. Okay, they're actually moving in. Interesting. I kind of want them... Are they just going to bola, or are they actually going to move in? I'm going to go shield, and then actually get in on these two. I want to try to injure. Okay, broken hand, good. I want to get some slash damage off. I think I might try gashing here, see if I can get another injury here. Nice. Here's Cheek. Gonna just move in. I don't want to tie him up. Um, we'll move up onto high ground to engage him. Oh, just you. Just relax. Fuck me, dude. Okay. Alright. Just don't shoot Viper. Just don't do it. Alright. I'm gonna send oh well, I wasn't paying attention, clearly. I'm gonna send Bronzen on a quest. Fuck. Need to do that. Do some damage there. Unnet you. Get behind. Slash, okay. I just, I'm kind of hoping he... Okay. Okay. All right. Taking a lot of damage here. This is Goliath the bear. I want to move up much as I can here. Honestly, I want this dude with a shield as well. We'll engage in... Well, that was a mistake, I think. I mean, he just would have kept bullying. Try for a break here. Fuck yeah, dude. Crandall is a fucking beast, actually. I take it all back. We'll move you here for now. Reduce their range bonus. Good sacrifice myself. Okay, even just getting close enough means they use, I think, presumably all of their action points. Fifty-eight percent. I wanted better there. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, I just want to keep them moving away. Right, apparently this guy actually is terrifying. Look at this fucking guy. Alright. Take that. Do we just let Jasperillo chill? Or do we have him pursue as well? I think we have him pursue as well. Just put him behind somebody. Yeah, that's fine. See if he's, we can force him that way. Okay, kind of, but not really. Okay, put him in the thing. Enemy can't people. Enemy cannot target people in the bush unless they're adjacent to the bush. That's good. I think they're just retreating. Send turn. Let's see if they are. All right, I can't catch them. All right, that was kind of painful. Didn't take any wounds, but we took a lot of damage. This is worth some money, at least. You can always use more money.
Let's head to Hermenshof. These villages are going to get more and more German over time. Also keeping in mind that I do not speak German. But I imagine that if someone does, that I'm pretty much pronouncing it perfectly. So, so far the hat has not disadvantaged me. It's good to know. I think these shields are shit, and I think that bow is shit. Is that sword dagger any good? I venture to say it is not good. What are you buying at? 16? I think enough to sell off my goblin bullshit. Anything, any other goblin shit I don't want? I guess we can sell that. That's... Like needlessly ha holding onto these flails. I can sell one mallet. I don't know, man. I take it all back. Crandall fucking did his job. He 1v1 to goblin at like level 1. Dude's an absolute beast. See what you have to offer. Drive off brigands. And follow the tracks. How's our armor? Anybody I can pay to fix it? Nope, oh, but I can barb. I think we drive off brigands. It's available to me here. I think I already checked. Nothing that thrills me. Alright. One nacho. Yeah. Guess we just kill him. Oh, what the fuck? Really, my. Oh. Uh, yeah, we can take the poachers. Shields on. Shields on. So all that's important to us is getting them in melee range. Honestly, I just don't even want Jasper to take damage. We don't need him for this fight. Go around the side. Come on. There we go. Hoping Pathfinder will be helpful here. Are they just gonna fucking run? Like, that would be really annoying. Nope, they're shooting here, so I think I catch... Catch at least one of them. Yep. Okay, brother. Nice. Fucking running. Scared. Alright. Double slash -o. You can tie this guy up too. Can't get an attack there, but I can get on top of him. Look at that. Fucking new guy. He's a beast. Alright, easy enough. Got some free stuff, 54 bucks. Some things to sell off, a few meds, it's all good. I don't think I've have to, had to buy medical supplies yet because I just keep getting them. No damage. My guys yet. I don't fucking care, why not? Take this at night. Raiders and poachers, so they will force us to attack. It is in a swamp as well. At least we have Pathfinder here, but it's going to be kind of annoying moving in. Trying to use him to scout. Can't see a whole lot. 
an awkward fight here. Do I have enough? I don't want to split up. Fuck, it's annoying. I will throw shields on here. I can always take them back off. It's going to take a while to get a good engagement here. Hopefully they just use up all their ammo before it becomes relevant. Our shield on for Bronson. Move with Jasperello. Alright, good thing I fought at night, because they are missing everything, which is really good. Bring our scout out. Okay. We have a taker. We will do the same shield stuff with Goliath, I think. Take the shield off Bronson for now. I want to get him into a better position. Then him into position as well. Hoping this Brigand Raider will take the bait and try to move in. He did. Excellent. We just have a few raiders that we haven't seen yet, and so I'm afraid to go in with Corndog just yet. I'd much rather go in with Goliath. So I can just sit with Corndog, sit with him, and I'll bring Goliath straight in. I think I just straight smack. Oof, nice. Broken hand as well. Fractured hand. That's great. Alright. I feel okay about bringing Crandall there. So we don't care if he dies, remember? Boom. Ooh, okay. Level 3 flail. Tier 3 flail. We definitely want that. So we want to kill this guy as quickly as possible. Do a little more scouting. Awesome, he has given me a straight hit. You can just 1v1 this guy. I don't know why I just gave him the double strike on me. Didn't really make much sense. Maybe we can get some break for morale. Or we just miss 84 percenters. Why not? Definitely safe to go here. Here is fine. Here is fine. Nice hits. Fractured elbow. Big injury for us. Yeah, I just gave him a double hit, which didn't make any sense. I didn't have to. Move him in. Adjacency and maybe to tank a hit for Jasperello. Oh, just wanted that 87% to hit. Would have been big. Another adjacency. Stab. Okay, he hit twice with the flail, but we still might get it. Bring Sedan in. Punch kill. Oh. He didn't headshot, it would have been a punch kill. There we go. Jesus Christ. This dude's fucking owning. Just kidding. Alright. Slash there, slash there. You just hit here. 
So just hit there. Let's just hit here. Try to get a break by moving in. Got the break. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking sedan the four door. Is better. Oh my god, dude. Bronson. Getting fucking owned by a club. Oh, oops. Alright. That should be it. Alright. That's all she wrote, folks. We did it. And we did get the flail. Excellent. We also got a 90 or an 80 armor, which is not bad. Not good. And we got a rank 2 mace. Or I guess what I should say is a rank 3 mace. Because there's a wood one. That mace, I think, is pretty comparable to the mace we have. The heavy mace. I think it's a little less good. 35 to 50. And this is... 30 to 45. Yes, so a little less good. Interesting to know. So this is really like a th rank 3.5 mace. We do have some decisions to make regarding this flail. Got another 80 armor, so we can actually... Uh, got some armor stacked up for new brothers. We got a hook blade here. A lot of things going in our favor. Got a nice insignia to sell. And a... Contract to turn in. While we're on our way south to do some more arena. Well, that uh, is going to conclude it for episode two here. Pretty good episode. Got a lot of experience on these brothers here. And they are certainly carrying their, their way to victory. Um, absolutely thinking that this mallet is overperforming the fact that, it, that it's wood. Um, getting a lot of value out of this mallet. Um, also two-handing this one-handed mace. Um, causing so many injuries, so much havoc. Let's level Crandall here. Let's really enjoy this process too. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Crandall. Some hit points on him. All right. Trashy Brothers surviving. Because of his, uh, because he's fat. Got 85 fucking HP. These shitty characters that won't die unless I intentionally murder them. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for tuning into episode two. And I will catch you the next time uh, we do this. Bye now.